anything you've heard from your border guy about Terence Howard is true. <laughs> Okay, for those that don't know, actor Terence Howard added to the list of celebrities who come to Uganda and fail to stick to just seeing animals. From Professor Safaraz who told us he has a cure for COVID, but all he left us was a jerry can of sanitizer. Kanye West that told us he's going to give us a Jurassic Park, but all he left was two pairs of Yeezys. Then Econ that promised us a whole city, but all we have to this day is a soft copy. Yeah, yeah, to like it a flash. And now Terence Howard talking about hydrogen technology. And I want to believe him, but Terence Howard went to the School of Chemical Engineering where he didn't finish. Why? Because he had a problem with the math. Now, as normal people, when you have a problem with math, it means you realize the math is hard, so you go and do another subject. Him, he just said he disagrees. <laughs> Terence, math is not like politics where if it refuses, you become opposition. Uh, one times one will be one, even if you're hungry, even if you've missed your period. That, I mean, there's no chance for a minority report. Now people who failed chemistry are going to be telling their kids, I didn't continue with chemistry because it had inconsistencies. <laughs> your mind, your mind had inconsistencies. The chemistry was fine. I was on TV watching his speech and the whole time Museven um, seemed the better actor. You know that part when your host starts saying yes to everything you're saying? Ah, uh, oh yeah? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, ha, hydrogen. Huh? The one where you add oxygen, H2O. Whoa, the one, water. Ha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. This man. Ha, uh -huh. yeah. Potatoes. No, no, sir, I said cassava. Ah, no, even cassava is right. Then he said that the technology would be a substitute for drones. Terence, wrong country. No, we, we don't want drones or an improvement on them. Yeah, I wish I could explain, but I mean, that's the exact problem because I don't want drones. <laughs> My ones that run on hydrogen. Soon we watch. Leave drones, those ones we have. You go for real problems. Uh, soap. Yeah. It costs more than the clothes it's washing. Yeah, talking about... I mean, in that whole speech, you just had to say one thing. I will make fuel to care. You forget hydrogen technology. The te all we want is to feed our people and the world for a very long time. So the geometry we want to hear is of beans, geometry of maize, geometry of coffee, geometry of matok. That's the geometry we want to hear. So all these days I've been wondering why Uganda is a target market for all these big ideas. And I remember that our government has been going around telling people that we have reached middle income status. <laughs> Even World Bank had it and thought we, we were abusing freedom of speech. Even as the people they were representing were caught off guard. It felt like how you walk into a birthday party and people are pouring water on you. <laughs> you're like, guys, I am not the birthday boy. And when the World Bank got involved, I mean, we have loans with them. <laughs> that information felt like finding your girlfriend shouting at a mugged guy. My boyfriend is going to beat you, rough you up. One word and you won't have teeth. So you're like, baby. Because this year has been crazy. Most of us have just been Tim Bulambu of Gaga. I don't even know who invented that saying. Bulambu of Gaga. Bulambu of Bulambu of Gaga of Gaga. Don't mix issues. You can't go to a fuel station and you tell them, Nsabayo kumafuta. Minawo Bulambu Satu. It was a very interesting disagreement between Uganda and the World Bank. I just wonder how a physical one would have been. We don't believe that you have reached middle income status. That's on you. We are serious here. We saw your claim and we don't agree. You have a bad attitude. Can we stay focused here? This middle income thing, how did you guys reach that conclusion? Uh, okay. We as we, um, we got our independence in 1962. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was a momentous occasion. Uh, I'm sorry to go. Uganda? Yes. We, we really just want to get to the bottom of this. Oh, fudge. We really require you to be serious. <sighs> we as we... Oh, God. Okay, this... Do you have any information that shows how you came to the conclusion that you've reached middle income status? No, no, no. Don't you guys have that saying? Which one? That in life there are three things to keep private. Your income, the person you're dating, and your next move. 
your beliefs are noted, but we still disagree. You people brought us a white Jesus. We, we didn't argue. We took the man as he is. Okay. Uganda. Uganda. Everyone should just do their own things. You know, but it doesn't work like that. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your good time. Because that's where you go wrong. Anyway, ours is mid-draw. That's it. That's it. In an end, Tondo. Thank <laughs> you.